Okay, so I'm on my way home from the laundromat, and uh, this is Highway A. It's a little back road that I take. Uh, it's a little, sh well, I don't know if it's a shortcut. It probably takes a little longer, but not by much. Probably a similar time. Anyway, um, but I like it because it's quiet, no traffic, just chill. So there is a stretch of this road that is like almost always there are deer there and I mean it's probably like 75 to 80 percent of the time that I drive down this road I run into deer and it's always always on this one stretch uh, not the stretch I'm on now but this time was different on my so again I'm on my way home right now but what happened was I was on my way to the laundromat and um, I was just kind of thinking because, you know, I was on that stretch. Um, it's like the first maybe two miles, one or two miles outside of town. Um, it's basically like right when the speed limit goes from 35 to 55, like from there, you know, for another mile or two beyond that. It's kind of where I usually see them. And um, so as I was driving, I was just kind of daydreaming something, you know, you might, your mind just kind of like wanders um, and I was thinking about how if I don't pay attention I might hit a deer and then crash and roll over you know like I was just picturing this in my head and as soon as I thought that I am not even joking I came up to the first sharp curve now the sharp curves as you can see right up ahead here there's a yellow sign with a black right arrow okay it was one of these signs right here, my, on the left side. Um, so I was going the other direction and it was um, a left-hand curve, but my headlights were illuminating that sign when suddenly something got between my light. Like it, something broke my beam, blocked the sign, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And I slowed down and sure enough, it was a deer. Like literally I was just thinking, about if I don't pay attention, I might hit a deer and roll over and crash, right? And then boom, a deer. Except never, ever, ever is it just one. It's never just one. Very rarely, I should say, is it just one. Um, and so I stopped. I came to a complete stop because that deer did not want to move. Like he just stood there in the middle of the road. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you want me to get out and like, play Romy with you or poker or something like what's what's going on here you want to be friends I don't I don't know so uh, I thought wow this is really cool well then the deer crosses and two more follow and uh, I was like well cool glad you all made it safe uh, glad I didn't hit you because I don't want to hurt you or my van so it was fun um, <laughs> I got to thinking, I really wish I'd pulled my camera out because I didn't even think of it. Like, I was just in the moment. It didn't even dawn on me to get that on camera. I was just enjoying the moment. But I do want to throw out a piece of advice for you. Um, also, I need to go back and answer comments on the last two videos. I haven't even touched those yet. I do apologize. I know, I suck. I'm terrible. Um, I'm really slow at getting around to this stuff. But um, I, I remember seeing a notification and I don't remember who said it, but somebody said something about, uh, they, I don't know if they were thanking me or they, they said they like that I throw out advice or, you know, driving tips or something like that. I remember seeing something along those lines regarding, you know, informational stuff. And so I'm gonna throw another one in here. Anytime you run into deer, and maybe I even mentioned this in a previous video, I don't remember. Uh, but whenever you run into a deer, I mean, not run into, but like whenever you encounter them, if you watch a deer cross the road, don't continue looking in the direction they're traveling. Instead, turn to the direction they came from because there's a really good chance that there's more coming. And just because you didn't hit that first one doesn't mean you can't hit another. So. Um, and for some reason, like I said, they almost always travel in packs. Um, in my personal experience, it's usually two or three. 
Um, however, I have seen single lone deers by themselves. Um, and I've also seen like a herd of deer, like maybe six to 10 deer. So it may vary a little bit and it, pro and it definitely depends on where you live too. Uh, Wisconsin is notorious for deer. They have statistics just on deer car crashes. They have statistics on the number of deer killed and the number of injured, the number of people, and the number of cars that are injured and are killed from deer crashes. Like, it's crazy. We have so many deer. Just so many deer. Um, and so, I mean, it's a hunter's paradise out here. Um, it's also a venison lover's paradise out here. Um, I love paradise. Or, I mean, I love venison. I guess I like paradise, too. Um, but basically from here where I'm at now uh, and into town is basically where the deer typically are somewhere along this stretch and so like I typically don't do the speed limit right now I'm going five under um, and if conditions were foggy or any other stuff I'd be going even slower um, during the daytime I'll travel the speed limit I can see better I can see further um, but just because it's nighttime I can't see all the darkness on both sides of the road um, I'll be able to see their eyes if they happen to um, you know, have their head facing the road then I'll see their eyes glowing usually but um, aside from that I rely on just number one like that sign as I mentioned they broke my beam, they broke my headlight beam, just stood in front of the sign and I was like, uh. So like, I, I rely on visual cues like that um, because it's really hard to see if they're out in the field or whatever. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm gonna keep this somewhat short. Uh, remember to take care of your pets, they will take care of you. And uh, always remember to uh, watch out for those deer, man especially here in Wisconsin, because they are cray-cray, and they don't care. They don't care that you're in a 2,000-pound missile. They don't care. They will jump in front of you. They'll go, tra-la-la, I'm a deer, so I'm special. <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. I love deer. I love all animals. But anyway, um, <laughs> y'all have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is. Um, also, I don't know who else subscribed to my channel, but I just... Uh, I clicked on uh, my name by accident and I saw that I had 290 subscribers so apparently I've gained a couple more so I don't know when that happened because I didn't receive notifications for new subscribers but whoever you are wherever you are thank you I appreciate your support uh, I hope my channel is to your liking uh, for those that are new here I don't have a schedule I don't have a routine I don't have any particular topics I just video whatever I just record whatever I record a lot of it is driving videos just talking about life and stuff um, so it's a hodgepodge of randomness but uh, uh, again no expectations no schedule those that have been around a while and those who know me know that and um, I started doing videos pretty much just to communicate with my YouTube friends um, so, but I'm sharing it with the world. Obviously, anyone on YouTube can see this, so it's fine. Like, I have no problems with a bunch of random strangers hearing what I have to say. Um, in fact, I like attention, so there you go. Anyway, have a great night. Take care of your pets. They will take care of you, and I'll see you all in the next one. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you all for your love and support and kindness. And in case this is my last video of the week, maybe it will be, maybe it won't, but... I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year as well. Remember to be safe. Don't do anything crazy or stupid. Don't be uh, conformed to the stupidity of society as a whole. <laughs> Have a great one. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.